Venomous snakes play an integral role in ecosystems by controlling the population of prey species. The Bushmaster is the largest of the pit vipers in the world, with some individuals reaching 2 meters in length. Their color pattern is striking, being a yellow to reddish brown, with black to dark brown triangular blotches, which makes them stand out. This snake is characteristic for delivering multiple bites with large amounts of hemotoxic venom. The Labaria is known in Guyana for its speed and aggressive nature. Adults can reach the lengths of 1.2 meters. Labarias display variable colorations, which are consistent with ground colors, which allows them to blend in well with the forest floor. This species can sometimes come in a green variation, which is normally mistaken for a parrot snake. The venom of this snake is hemotoxic and is usually lethal and fast-acting. However, this species is known to give off dry bites. Like all pit vipers, the green labaria has heat-sensing pits, and this is what makes it stand out from the parrot snake. The bi-stripe pit viper is a small, sleek green snake with a prehensile tail, which it uses to attach itself to trees. This species can reach lengths of approximately 70 centimeters, with females being slightly smaller. They are primarily arboreal and nocturnal, and they tend to feed on small frog species. The coral snake, also known as the Hymerali, is a medium-sized, short-fanged elapsid that can reach lengths of 3 meters and features a red, black, and yellow stripy coloration. These snakes are usually less aggressive and will attempt to flee in the presence of any perceived threat. Unlike the other two venomous snakes in Irokrama, the coral snake's venom is a neurotoxin, which causes paralysis and respiratory failure within hours. The rattlesnake receives its name from the rattle at the end of its tail, which serves as a warning to deter any threats away. These snakes are the less aggressive of the pit vipers, as they only bite when threatened. The rattlesnake can grow up to 6 feet in length, and they have two distinct stripes at the base of their head. The toxins of the rattlesnakes are a mixture of hemotoxin and neurotoxin, which immobilizes its prey while disrupting its circulatory system. Snakes play an integral role in ecosystems by controlling prey populations. They are usually viewed as a threat, but most species only attack when threatened as a last resort, and they should only be handled by trained professionals.